Okay, okay. I have two books because I, I read them very fast. I was away so I couldn't like stop to update and stuff. But I have two books by Sarah Penner. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I think she might be a new favourite author. I'm, I'm just putting that out there. I'm just putting that out there. So let's start with The Lost Apothecary because that's where I started and I do believe it's the first book. So we follow like three different characters and we have like two timelines. So we have, I wanna say, uh, okay, so 18th century and then 200 years later, so like present time. Um, so we have, we have the apothecary in the 18th century who is, well, she makes poisons for women to give to men basically she has this rule about not letting her poisons hurt other women um but <laughs> she has no rule against letting the women hurt men because well she was hurt once basically that's all you need to know that's all you need to know so also in that same timeline in the 18th century we have little eliza was it? Yeah, Eliza. So Nella is the apothecary and Eliza is the little 12 year old. So she is a, I want to say maid. Was she a maid? She was something with a different house, with a household. She was, um, yeah. And she comes in to Nella's to get a certain thing for her mistress to give. That That's, that's basically it. However, um, events kind of lead to events and the mistress goes away to grieve and Eliza now basically doesn't really have anything to do or anywhere to go. She can stay in the house, it's, it's not that, it's just a, uh, well, yeah. So she kind of goes back to Nella the apothecary and, um, uh, well, <laughs> yeah. And at the same time, at the, in that timeline, events kind of lead to events and eventually they need to go away. That's, that's where I'm going to leave it with that. So in present time, we have, what was her name again? Caroline? Yes, Caroline. She is an aspiring historian. But, <laughs> so basically, um, American, I think. Yeah, something something um she uh, ends up in london because that's where it all takes place she ends up in london because she was gonna go with her husband to celebrate their 10 year anniversary but <laughs> just before going away uh, she found out that he was cheating on her and he was like no 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 it's just the one time thing it's uh, it's never happened oh no it's just a one time thing oh maybe it's happened a few more times than one yeah so basically she still goes to London to get away to get her thoughts in order and stuff like that she goes alone and while there, she kind of goes on this mudlarking thing and she finds a little, well, a little flask where basically this thing leads her back to the apothecary. So she kind of goes on a bit of an investigation and finds out that, well, this apothecary there was this apothecary murder thing happening and it's this thing connected and it's oh it's so fascinating honestly super fascinating it was so good it was honestly so good it was also so short and i was like my dude this is brilliant i bloody love it it was so good. It was so, so good. I saw this book a couple of years ago and I was like, oh, this looks interesting. Didn't really know anything about it. Just saw the cover, the, the title, looked interesting. And now I'm glad I read it because, wow, chef's kiss. Yes. So, um, library book, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, not obviously, but it's, it's a library book. So when I was at the library, I also, um, well found, spotted, the London Seance Society, um, which is her book too. They are not connected, but they have the same kind of feel to it. So, and this one, what was it again? So basically, 
um, we we follow a different person as well, but Lena, that's that's our main girlie. So basically, her sister died, and she's not really convinced about the things that have been said and stuff. So she goes to this madam. Some things I probably can't pronounce. Mm. Vaudelin Dele, yeah, French girlie. She goes to a French girlie. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, because her sister had gone there and been uh, taught. Because this the French girlie, she teaches how to do seances, how to connect with the spirits and stuff. And her sister had been there, and then she kind of wants to do this seance with for her sister but she doesn't know how and she doesn't really believe in all that but she goes to the french girlie to get some help uh, now the french girlie is in paris and london they it mostly takes place in london um so she goes to paris and gets taught and all that and then the french girlie doesn't want to go to london because something happened in the past so she's kind of well she ran away and Paris is now safe for her but her friend passes and this London Seance Society they kind of invite her back to do this seance for this person who was a part of the society um and they 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 go to extreme measures I guess to keep the identity of her um a secret and all that Yada yada yada. So the London <laughs> the London Seance Society. Wow. Um, basically, it's a society that does seances and stuff, but it's strictly for men. No women allowed. Of course, it's it's that kind of deal. It's yeah, that's obviously what's happening. Those times. It was. It's eighteen. 1800 something or other anyway basically French girlie and Lena they go to London and do some investigations as it were and intrigue and drama and stuff now I think I prefer the the apoth the lost apothecary but it's so good her writing it just capt captivates you it just pulls you in this is also a very short book by the way so it's like wow 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 also in both books they have this uh like the at the end of the book they have this like um i guess author's note kind of a deal where they explain the research behind so there's been so many research bits put into these books to make him like as, as historically correct as possible i suppose and you can tell this is not like a a book you just threw together. It's not an AI writing this. It is chat GPT, whatever it's called, um, book um, that you wonder if <laughs> some other authors does that. Anyway, besides the point, so good, so good. So I saw um, something about she's ha she has a third book coming out and I think like May next year. And what I gather, it's... It's this, um, ar not architect, archaeologist, <laughs> same kind of wording, archaeologist who kind of uncovers a curse, but now she must break said curse. I'm intrigued. I am intrigued. I want to know more. And I think definitely Sarah Penner is now a must read go to or to buy everything yeah she's the favorite author of mine now isn't she yeah it just took two books actually it just took half a book to be fair but <laughs> i read two other books i think that's all she's written but yeah i'm i'm hooked i'm hooked and i will not be stopped that's my take on it see you in the next one